The planet Cronus. Beset on all sides by the tides of war, this once quiet colony became a savage battlefield. Seven armies clashed on this one world, each refusing to back down, each convinced it was in the right. From beneath the sands of Cronus's central desert came the Necrons, ancient machines bent on eradicating all life. But another evil already had its eyes on the planet. From the depths of the warp, the demonic forces of chaos arrived to enforce their claim. To oppose these fearsome powers, the planet's rulers in the Tau Empire sent their elite soldiers and sophisticated battle suits into the fray. From the mighty Imperium of Man came the Imperial Guard, there to secure Cronus for the glory of the God Emperor. Like a green tide, the Orc Horde descended on Cronus, caring little for others' claims and sowing destruction in its wake. The Eldar, ancient enemies of the Necrons, emerged from their webway to pursue their own agenda on Cronus. And last came the Space Marines, finest and most uncompromising of the Imperium soldiers. Seeing a world beset by aliens and heretics, they undertook a great purge. A dark crusade had begun. It could only end with the total victory of one of these factions and the total defeat of all others. Ladies and gentlemen, won't you lost? My name is Kiriath, and this, oh my god, this is a delightful, a lovely, a spiffing little let's play of Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War Dark Crusade, which has the longest title of any game ever. Now, we have a choice to make, ladies and gentlemen, my lovelies. We can either go with Chaos, with Eliphas the Inheritor. Uh, I do like a bit of Chaos myself, although I'm not finding myself leaning towards them quite as much as I used to. We could go for filthy, psychic, alien freaks, the Eldar, uh, with their tricksy ways. We could go with Imperial Guard. I mean, this guy, Lucas Alexander... He's got two lightning claws by the look of it, which is crazy for a normal, non-augmented human. Uh, so I've got to admire his worth. Then we could go with the Necron Lord of the Tomb World, the living called Cronus. It's tempting. I do like Necrons. We also have, of course, Orcs. Warlord Gorgot's Edunter. <laughs> he looks solid. You've got the Tau, the filthy space communist. But really, I think there's only one choice for us. And that would be this chap. Brother Captain Davian Thule, commanding the Blood Ravens. Because let's face it, if you're going to play this, you've got to go Blood Ravens at least first. I mean, hell, they were invented specifically for the game. The Blood Ravens chapter arrived on Cronus like the mailed fist of the Emperor. That narration, though. <laughs> Acting under orders from his chapter master and chief librarian. Young brother Captain Davian Fuel ordered the Blood Ravens to carry out a thorough purge of this world. Davian sounds better the than Davian. The Master had told Fuel that ancient relics of the chapter were hidden on Cronus. Artifacts from the mysterious early years of the Blood Ravens. These sacred items could not be allowed to fall into alien hands. Damn right. Captain Fuel ordered the withdrawal of the Imperial Guard forces stationed in Victory Bay. But Governor Alexander flatly refused to pull his men back. Good man. Fuel judged the Governor a good man, but had little choice but to send his Space Marines to battle the Governor's troops, along with all the other powers. <laughs> Christ. The Blood Raven's willingness to fight soldiers of the Imperium did not go unnoticed. Whispers began that the relics on Cronus were more damning than holy. Only the war's victors would be left to decide the truth of the matter. Of course, worth noting that uh, the, the general acceptance is that the Blood Ravens are descended from the Thousand Sons. Which will also explain their, their whole uh, knowledge is power thing. And of course the fact that they go after relics as though they were magpies. So we've got a choice here. We can either go here. Welcome to the single player campaign for Dark uh, yeah, we know. Dark Crusade. These tutorial windows will guide yes. you to the first. Thank you. We we know this. So essentially what you do is you essentially what you do is you just conquer the entire planet 
because you're a manly man uh, or womanly woman, whichever you prefer. And being space marines, obviously we are made of worth. Have a quick look at the commander. So you also get war gear, you get an honor guard, you get special abilities and stuff. Uh, obviously we don't have anything at the moment because, well, we ain't killed nobody and we need to kill people. Because that's, you know, you need to kill people. It's it's quite... I, I do like the system in uh, in Dark Crusade. I have to admit, I haven't played Dark Crusade anywhere nearly... Anywhere nearly... Anywhere near as much as Dawn of War 2. So I think I only did the campaign for this once. So I'm not actually that familiar with it in comparison. So... Well, that's strength 3. That's strength 1. We get 75 requisition for either. And we'll get the foot... I mean, really, we're better off going there... I think. And then we'll go over there. Yeah, we'll do that. Attack! Let's do it. Let's do it. So you pick your forces there, but we don't have any forces at the moment, so... The enemy commander is a skilled combatant. The enemy force likely consists of basic infantry. The enemy has a single base. Let's rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. The first mission... Oh, lord. This is a quality game. If you're not familiar with the Dawn of War series, uh, which you kind of should be, because we've played it on the channel quite a few times, you should really check them out. They they tend to be very, uh, they be quite cheap most of the time, but whenever sales come up, they go rock bottom prices. Ooh. Oh, shut up. The only thing is that if you're used to the uh, the wonderful zoom out of Dawn of War 2, then it's going to feel a bit weird coming back to this because the zoom is nowhere near as good. The sound quality is not very good either, actually, looking at it, listening to it. We might have to have a quick look in the sound settings, see what we can do about that. Let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick a gander. A gander. We don't want rubbish sound, do we? We don't have any sound options at all. So, <laughs> I'll have a look at that before the next episode. But, for now, we'll just have to deal. Yes, my lord. Come on, boys. Come on. Yes. Give me another one of these, lads. Because we'll need one of those. We'll need a plasma generator as well at some point. Yeah. My faith is so, for Dawn of War, what you've got to do is you've got to capture these little points all over the map. Like, we want this. We will have that. What have I got? 400... And, uh, we can afford something else. Let's build an armory. We can afford an armory. Oh, mind you, we could do with uh, we could do with some power generators as well. Oh, yes. Get over there. You boys capture that. You boys over here. You come over and catch that. Yeah! Yeah! Requisition increased. <laughs> we don't have enough for that. We don't really have enough for anything at the moment. But that's fine, because we've uh, we've got the beginnings of a nice little army here. Once uh, once this is finished, we'll send this lad over to get a listening post. Increases the requisition resource production rate. And I'll definitely see if I can't do something about the sound quality before the next episode. Because the sound design in this game is pretty damn good. But you can't tell at the moment, because it's all bitty and horrible. Although when I loaded it up, it gave me uh, the lowest graphic settings for everything. <laughs> it's like, excuse me, game. Any chance? I didn't think to actually check that. Oh, well. We can deal. We can deal, ladies and gentlemen. We can deal for the moment. Ooh, and I'm tempted with an assault marine squad. But, actually, an army might be... We've got... Uh... Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Assault squad would be helpful. But yes, I want to build a listening post on this, yes, so we won't. We'll uh, we'll wait. Here to serve. Upgrade that. Temptation is strong. It's strong. It's strong. I'm not going to lie. It's strong. But we won't. We won't. We'll be sensible. Getting into position. Right. Where do we where do we put this lad? Here we go. Come over here, son. Come over here. Build another listening post. Build that there. Oh, hang on. We've got we've got more points over here. Yeah, capture that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's why we didn't build Thingy. 
We're going full for this squad. We're going to go and see if we can investigate, see what we can find. We've got some enemies around. I'll be able to stick a heavy bolt turret down there as well, actually. The voice acting in this game is uh, of the highest possible quality, by the way. They nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. Come on, boys, hurry up. Okay, we'll get some uh, we'll get some submarines in a sec. Yes, most beneficent one. Yeah. <laughs> Beware the alien, the mutant, the heretic. I will. I will absolutely beware all of those. Thank you for reminding me, sir. On alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. We are united in his Ah, come on, let me let me attach. Nice. Oh, I kind of thought he'd be over here. Maybe he's not. He's not. He's not over here. Oh, we'll take that anyway. Got to always be taking stuff. Always, always, always be taking. Now, do we have enough to upgrade the monastery? Yes, we do. Always upgrade the monastery as well, because that's what allows you to get more tech, more buildings. Vehicles, yeah. You can't properly cleanse the mutant and the heretic if you don't have the, uh, the technology to do so. The mechanic would tell you that much. They wouldn't give you the technology to do it. They'd just tell you that you need it, because, well... We don't trust the Mechanicum, do we? But only because they're a bunch of liars. Liars and, and filthy tech... ...nutters. Come on, boys. I'll find something. There's got to be something around here. Give me some of them. That'll be handy anyway. Beware the alien, the mutant, the heretic. Where are these scumbag Imperial Guard hiding, anyway? It's been so long since I've played this game. I cannot remember the, uh... Captured a relic? They're right there. They're there. Boys, get over here. Scouts, get over here. They're approaching. You. Build me another one. Nice, boys, nice. How, how are we doing for that? Awesome. You know, give me another servitor. That's not really how jump packs work, by the way, but we'll let them off. <laughs> it's just, it's absolutely not how they work. They don't let you hover off the ground like a nutter. Ah, not enough power. You know what, we'll just, we'll slam down a few generators. We're cruising along with just one, but we'll, uh, we'll go crazy. Yes, yes, there we go. Now, we've got a bunch of lads here. Scouts, they can go over there and capture that. Come here, boys. Where the hell are they? Where, where did I send the uh, jump pack lads? Where have they gone? I forgot to hotkey them. And now, there we are. <laughs> I thought I'd lost him. You see, they, they will make, like, a horrendous mess of, uh, of enemy infantry. Yeah, you're damn right for the glory of the Emperor. Have they fortified this, or have they just taken it? Oh, they've just taken it. All right. Right, well, we'll get some, uh, get some more lads on the go. Uh, well, we could, but that'd be kind of a waste of time. Get, get him! Get him, boys! Rally squad. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do jump. Yes, cut him! Cut him! Yeah, he's been cut. He's been cut good. Capture that. Alright, boys. This is where it starts. This is where it starts. You, get over here. We're going to slam Oh, no, you can do it from there. Do it from there, boy. Do it from there. God, it's been so long. It's been so long. Come here. Scouts have gone over there. They can go and capture that. Oh, God. The memories. The memories. You know what? This is... 
This is, uh, like, genuinely one of the best 40... I don't... Some people say it's the best. Personally, I prefer Dawn of War 2, but... Honestly, they're different games. They're, they're just... They're different games. So, personally, I prefer this one. Not, uh, not this one. I personally, I prefer Dawn of War 2, but this one is still a solid game, and it still holds up, even though it... I mean, it looks a bit dated now, but... It still feels like 40k. What is this? What the hell is this? Oh no. Boys. Quick. <laughs> There's no way. I ain't got the time. I ain't got the time for that. Although. Boys, get over there. But all of you, get over there. Let's take a couple of these down as well. You know what? Screw it! We are having some grey knights. They ain't going to be able to kill that before my boys get there. Oh, yes. Oh, we're all going to be in trouble. Oh, I've got a chaplain as well. Come on, boys. Get in there. Boom! That was <laughs> a lot less impressive than I than I remember it being. Oh yes! Oh, there we go. He's here. <laughs> Dreadnought's here, boys. Oh, it's an abs. It's a rout. Look at him. Look at him. Poor Imperial Guard bastards. You turned, you, you turned against the Emperor. Look at these idiots. Oh, I'm going to upgrade that. I'm going to upgrade this one as well. Oh, no, I haven't built one there yet. Ah, yeah, there we go. Yes, most beneficent one. I am beneficent. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, we're going heavy bolters for these guys. How are we doing on these? Man, we're just not losing any guys. Who's this prick over here? Kill him. Ah, oh, look at him go. The chaplain ain't having none of it. Oh, <laughs> oh it was quality. Oh, there's a commissar there. Yeah, you're damn right, boy. I do still serve. Even in death. <gasps> there they are. There's the Grey Knights. There's the Grey Knights. We go to spread his word. Yeah, we're gonna spread the word, all right. Good man, good man. He's not wrong. It is better to die for the emperor than live for yourself, undoubtedly. Got a sacred artifact. Do with more power as well. But honestly, I think we might be just in a position where we could go and assault someone now. Boys, boys. <laughs> I don't know why you're even trying, boys. You ain't got the worth. You ain't got the worth, boys. You ain't got the worth. I mean, I appreciate the effort, but honestly, it's like what? Oh, look at him. Let's get a good look. Oh, 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 yes. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, what's this? Oh. Okay. Uh, Dreadnought. Get rid of that. Where's my Hellfire Dreadnought gone? Oh, it's all the way up here. Come here, boy. Oh, it's not going to last long, is it, that? It's not going to last long! Wow, okay. <laughs> it really didn't last very long. Come here, boys. How are we doing? My uh, my hotkey action has been uh, distinctly lacking so far. Um, <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm not afraid to admit it. All right, let's see what other vehicles we can get now. Uh, we can have a Predator. We could go heavy armor. Yeah, we're going heavy armor deployment. We're going to build a load more power. A bit of that, a bit of that. I know. I'm. I'm not telling you to build it now. I'm telling you to build it afterwards. Oh yeah, we get the orbital relay as well, don't we? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, yes. So let's just be cheeky and have a bit of power in the middle of nowhere. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, no, I can't, can I? I've forgotten about that. 
You can't just keep endlessly building power. Yeah. I don't think it really matters, though. I think we can probably take out the enemy base with what we've got. But we'll build a Predator anyway, uh, once we've upgraded. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the Grey Knights are solid. The Dreadnoughts are solid. The Assault Marines absolutely wreck Imperial Guard. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think if we can find the base, we'll smash it. Oh, and there it is. Hellfire Dreadnought, where are you? Come over here. Deal with that. Oh. Come on, boys. Psychic Inquisition. Oh, <laughs> baby. Oh, careful, lads. Yeah, deal with that. Everyone deal with that. It's it's getting frustrating now. I don't want it there. <gasps> oh, there we go. We'll just buy one of them. How are we doing for health, everybody? Those guys don't care. They don't care. They've lost no one. Neither the Grey Knights. I mean, really, it's it's a bit harsh, pitting pitting the old Imperial Guard against us, but. Oh, Chaplin's still here. Yeah, they fully upgraded all of them, ain't they? Mentals. Yeah, heavy, let's heavily fortify the relics. <laughs> oh, baby. How are we doing with that Land Raider? There's a Predator as well afterwards. Oh, we need 300 power. <laughs> well, I have just bought a Land Raider. I suppose just demanding another thing is a bit crazy. There we go. I believe that's a uh, that's just an old school land raid. It's not a crusader or a uh, redeemer. I forget the actual pattern name for the twin last cannon one. Ooh, commissar. Got wrecked. Oh, oh, oh. you're going to get bullied hard, boy. Oh, God. No need for that, is there? A bit brutal. Oh, are these boys are lad down. Oh, no, they're not. That's right, then. I keep forgetting I've got a... Uh, my tactical squad has got the commander attached to it. Maybe I should unattach him. Yeah. Hang on. Can he Can he join the commander? No, he can't. Oh, nice. We found it. Boys, charge. Boys, charge. Band Raider, get in here. Come on. Come on, in we go. Yes, yes, that's it. That's it. We're here. We'll deal. There's a priest. Oh, that dreadnought is wrecking shop. Ha <laughs> ha, look at him. Bye. What are you doing? Get in the, get in the fight. You drib. Get over there, attack them. Go mano a mano. Rev that chainsword. Show me mean business. I mean, really, there's no point building Grey Knights against these, because they're not demons, but Grey Knights are, like, solid as hell, so... Oh, yes, there we go. Yeah, he's giving them a good cutting. I think I need to upgrade my vehicle population again to get the Predator out. Yeah, population full. That's something else I like, actually. You can still build stuff, it just doesn't turn up until there's space, so... Makes it a bit more fluid. See, you say this is going to be a glory. This is a glorious day for the Imperium, but I kind of disagree because the Space Marines have just wrecked a whole load of Imperial Guard for no reason, other than they didn't like the fact that they wouldn't leave. So, yeah, and he says treasonous. wasn't really treasonous, was he? <laughs> he wasn't really treasonous, was he, Davian? Fuel. Fuel, you nutter. You bloody lunatic. Demon Hammer. Ah, okay. Replace a standard chainsword. Yeah, so it's it's the... Uh, you've kind of got a bit of progression here and there. I want the blade, though. I want the blade. I'll take the blade. So if we... Uh, 
Ah, oh, yeah, of course, we can't go over there now because we've gone over here. But still, that was... Oh, that was worth it, I think. Got a load of requisition. So, what have we got here? We'll have some of them. And we'll have... One of them. And we'll reinforce there. I reckon... We ain't done too bad there. But the question is, do we go on for another mission? Or do we save that for next time? I think we save that for next time. This has been the first mission of Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War, Dark Crusade. I absolutely loved it. Davian Thule is a legend. And, uh, in fact, we'll have a quick look at his... Have a quick... A quick gander. Go to the war gear here. Oh, I thought I'd selected that there. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm off my face. Oh, there we go. I just messed it up. That's all. Yes. Yes. Should we give him that? Should we end on that? Let's give him that. And now he's got a crazy power sword. What a hero. What an absolute hero. 133 kills. One conquest. A, a legend of his time. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the first mission of Warhammer 40,000. Dawn, Dawn of War... Dark Crusade, which is too long, so I'm just going to say Dark Crusade from now on. Tune in for the next one.